differences between subsidiary books and ledger. What are the differences between subsidiary books and ledger? We are going to tabulate these differences. On this side of uh, your screen, you will see um, points that relate to subsidiary books, while on the other side, we are going to have corresponding points that relate to ledger. The first difference, subsidiary books are temporary accounting records. Subsidiary books are temporary accounting records, while the ledger is a permanent accounting record. The ledger contains permanent accounting records. Two, entries in sub subsidiary books are obtained from source documents, such as the receipt, the invoice, the check stub. Entries that are made in the subsidiary books are obtained in the source document, are obtained from source documents, while postings in the ledger are obtained from summaries in subsidiary books. In most cases, we will first prepare subsidiary books and whatever balance we get, we will now post to the ledger. Except for the cash book, which is regarded as both subsidiary book and the ledger. But that does not come here. Three, subsidiary books are meant to enter daily transactions. Transactions are entered daily as they occur in subsidiary books. While for ledgers, items or transactions are posted usually periodically, every week, once a week, or every month, once a month. Unlike a subsidiary book that contains daily record of transactions as they occur. Number four, subsidiary books are meant to reduce the volume of items that are entered in the ledger. If we allow all transactions to be recorded in the ledger, there is going to be a very large volume. Whereas the ledger balances are meant to prepare the final account. And finally, number five, subsidiary books are not classified. They are not classified, while ledgers are classified. These are the differences between subsidiary books and the ledger.